Hi, Ann. Welcome to Rax Infotech. Uh, today, I'm going to share our good news. Uh, with all your support and all our Oracle DBA and all the DBA learners support, we achieved a 2K milestone. Uh, we have we got uh, 2K subscribers. So we are going to convey our thanks uh, to all of you guys. Um, we couldn't have done this uh, without your uh, support. Okay, the same way we are going to like work hard to share more and more information to all of our learners, Oracle DBA learners, all the DBA skills set, not only Oracle DBA. Now onwards, I'm going to introduce a couple of database knowledge sharing like Postgres. That is one of the upcoming R that is already there, but yeah, market is going to increase on uh, year by year. So I'm going to share uh, uh, Postgres SQL DBA knowledge also. Why? Because today it's a very good news. We achieved 2K. This week we already achieved, we crossed like 2K plus subscribers we are having. So that is one benefit, I mean, one uh, thing which I want to share with you. And then Postgres SQL DB, I'm going to share you uh, free of cost and everything, all the videos from starting to end. That is one thing. Another thing I'm going to share, Golden Gate. That training also I'm going to share you. Uh, on our YouTube channel only from start to end. Like within, uh, we are going to make it around 20 to 30 videos, like uh, architecture part two, and then experience like expert level, I can say installations, maintenance, upgrade things, how you're going to work on Golden Gate path. Those two, I'm, I want to share with you uh, also. So in, cup, in upcoming days, uh, further days, we are going to add Postgres DBA and the Golden Gate videos, all the series we are going to introduce, including, I mean, as we continue as a DBA also, I'm going to share you all the DBA knowledge as well, DBA trainings, DBA interview question and answers. So all the DBA knowledge also, including Oracle DBA knowledge, I'm going to add another two DBA database administrations. Those are Postgres SQL DBA and Golden Gate DBA knowledge as well. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, without your uh, support, uh, we are we are not going to, like, we haven't achieved this. So if you are supporting, if it is useful, share with your colleagues, friends, and the family members. If it is useful for them, they can also learn and then they can support us, right? So big thanks to all of you guys, okay? Uh, that's about our uh, this thing, like uh, 2K subscriber things. It's a very good news and progressive. It's like... We have started the Rax Infotech Institute in uh, 2022 itself, but we have started this channel uh, from 2023, July end onwards, we have started this channel. So it's like a 10 months, uh, about 10 months by next next month, then we are going to complete one year, but before that only we have completed, okay? It's a good achieve uh, with your all support and um, yeah, continuous support and all. So I'm, um, I hope you are going to support in future also. I'm going to share my complete knowledge uh, towards our Oracle database knowledge, Oracle application, RAC, Postgres. Now I have added, right? Postgres DB and Golden Gate also. If permits, time permits that if I have a time, I used to plan to share some of other technology like Exadata things, how to, what is Exadata, how to install and uh, Oracle cloud knowledge as well. That is also I'm going to add it, but yeah, the, those two parts are separately. Uh, I'm going to add it, but first priority, we are going to add Postgres DBA details, then Golden Gate. Parallelly, I used to uh, add one or two sessions Postgres, one or two sessions on Golden Gate, and parallelly with our Oracle DBA knowledge completely, like entry questions, how to face interviews and all. Okay. And that's all about this thing, guys. And finally, uh, one more thing. We are going to start our online Oracle DBA course, uh, Oracle 19C DBA course, real-time workshop. It's 40 hours training. It's a paid training. If somebody already working as a DBA, they want to improve their skill or they want to brush up their skill set. So tomorrow we are going to start June 3rd. June 3rd, we are going to start Oracle 19C DBA training with real-time uh, examples, real-time scenarios, uh, like uh, more on we are going to work as a lab. Okay, theory part is very, very minimal we are going to discuss. And then most of the time I'm going to share 
how to start our server, how to install our database software on virtual boxes. So this is our Oracle database. So I'll, I'll show you how to configure this machine also from step one onwards, okay? From step one onwards, and then I'm, I'm taking to you from level zero to level two, level three, level four. So one, two, three, four, I'm going to take you to complete 40 hours if you are going to attend you will get more and more knowledge, okay? Tomorrow, 7.30 uh, p.m., we are going to start this batch. And uh, this week, completely, we are going to talk about the basics, why we need to learn DBA, what is the market scope, everything we are going to cover it. So it's a kind of lab. In real time also, when you're going to connect any one of the database server, we need to connect either virtual machine. This is virtual machine where we are going to connect. But yeah, in real time, we are going to use Putty's uh, tool, this is a putty tool. There we are going to use it. Okay, there we are going to use it. Our database services server to connect the server and start the stop services. Now, this is one of the Linux command. I'll show you, uh, I'll also, I'll uh, give you the knowledge on Linux commands as well. This is Linux operating system. So everything we are going to cover it uh, tomorrow, 7.30. If anyone interested, ping me on our WhatsApp number. It's 939, let me share you that so that you can note down that uh, contact details. 939-236-3440, okay? It's 939-263-3440. Reach me on this number, I'll help you. If you require anything, okay? Let me, uh, give me one second, guys. So, we are going to cover tomorrow session for uh, connecting to that session. You can reach me on this number or raxinfotech at gmail.com. You can send me a text. I'll respond back to you immediately. Okay. So we are going to uh, teach you from, as I said, level zero to level four. Level four means initially, if you don't know anything, you just finished your graduation and you are, you are looking for a IT job. Simply you can connect us. We will guide you how to get a job in the industry, IT industry, as a Oracle DBA, okay? It's also like uh, most of the people knows only Python, Java, some other like high level, like development uh, skill sets, right? Oracle DBA also similar kind of IT job, okay? Oracle DBA also, it's a very, very uh, market demand skill set, okay? If you learn this course, I'll show you the job opportunities in the LinkedIn. See, if you are connecting here, latest Oracle DBA, uh, you can search with Oracle Database Administration. See here, Oracle DBA position in TCS. We have different locations in India, Pune, Mumbai, and Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Even if you are looking for a different country also, you can look into it. As of now, I'm showing all the examples related to India, inside of India, okay? If you are looking for all this, so many opportunities. If you are trying to, uh, once you finish at this job, most of the uh, main MNC companies, you will get an opportunity. See, uh, it's a uh, Kindrel. Okay, you have opportunities, lot of opportunities. TCS, Code Star, FIS. Okay, Dutch Bank, product based thing. So, lot of opportunities you are having. Even if you are trying outside of India, suppose we can take USA, United States. There also you can able to get it uh, Oracle DBA related jobs. See here, Oracle Application DBA. It it includes Oracle DBA also. Inside Globe, Oracle Database, Dice, Oracle DBA and uh, Gitter, Fran, Kona, okay? So many opportunities, guys. If you learn this course, you can apply for these positions, Oracle DBA positions. I'll show you one simple uh, JD from Inside Globe company. They're expecting what kind of roles you re need, okay? So working with the data structures, metadata, ensure consistency, security, accessibility, just a fundamental of SQLs. So if you, we are going to teach you these things also. What, what is mean by these things and all. Okay, collaborating with the uh, businesses segments to gather the requirements, specifications and developing these things. This one like high level kind of uh, JD, which they have provided. And uh, they used to give some more like high level steps, all the arm and backups, cloning, patching, all those things. Let me show you in a dice, what you're going to expect it. Okay. JD, as and when you're going to check with the JD, I'll show you in India related things as well. In India, we used to have clear cut of what 
exactly the company is looking for. GD, you know, right? A job description. What the company is looking for? Experience 8 to 10 years. We used to get 3 to 4 years, also 5 to 6 years. Even very rarely, we used to get the fresher opportunities. But yeah, we have uh, fresher opportunities as well. See all those things. Restoring the database backups, restore points, flashbacks, managing incremental backups, backup and recovery scenarios, monitoring the database alerts, automating database operations, okay? All the SOPs which are going to maintain uh, all the operations, patching, cloning operations, tables and indexing are reorganizations, index reorganizations, health checks, monetization, optimization of the database, how we are going to manage all these things, okay? This is a JD uh, job description here, job description. You must have all these skills, okay? We are going to discuss like OS level, operating system level things also, we are going to discuss about it, okay? I'm not talking about the company, guys. I'm just showing you the JD. I don't want to uh, talk about the companies or any other things. I'm just sharing about if you learn Oracle DB, you have an opportunities in the market. That is my intention. You want I want to show you all, okay? Okay, for this course, we are going to start it uh, from tomorrow, 3rd June, 7.30 p.m. IST to 8.30 p.m. IST. It's a week, uh, weekday batch, Monday to Friday, daily one hour. So we are going to show you on practically. Everything is practically. So see here, I'm going to join this one connected to the database server. Now my DB is not running. Okay. If I want to start my DB, let me check. SQL plus as is DBA. Come and not found. Set the environment or the bash value. What is the value I want to check? My DB is not running here with the command PSF me here. S1. No. So I want to set the environment. If you don't know anything, check the Vara tab. There you will get the SID names. Uh, set Vara ENV to set the environment. We need to give the SID. Automatically, the home will be set it up. Okay. Dev DB, let me give you manually. Dev DB. Environment is set. Let me connect it to SQL plus now. Then initiate the startup command. That's it. So what all these things, why we need to set this? What is mean by this environment file? We are going to uh, learn everything from step by step. Startup means the database. I'm going to start it up now. Once it is up, we will see the status again. See, my database is up and running. Show PDBs. It is a multi-tenant architecture. So CDB, PDB concept, one of the uh, CDB, one of the pluggable databases is not mounted. If you want to start, we can start it back. So in this way, we are going to see it. If you want to see PS-EF, S1. Now, earlier we haven't seen this SID of this background process, S1 background process, and this is an SID. So my database is up and running now. So these are all the things. If in interview, somebody will ask you how to find uh, whether the database is up and running or not. So you just use this command and identify whether you can able to see this ID, SID. Okay. If you are able to see it, then you can say, yeah, my instance is up and running. Database is up and running or not, I don't know. For that, what we need to do, we need to connect to this SQL plus as a SDBA. To connect with this SQL plus as a SDBA, it will give you the SQL prompt. There you can check, select a name, comma, open underscore more from V$. Dollar. Let me select name, comma, open underscore mode from V$. Dollar database. Hope uh, I think it is very... Uh, what I can say, screen was very, uh, font was very small. Uh, that's later on we can increase the, these things. Like, let me zoom in, zoom out, zoom out, then zoom in. Let me zoom in one more time. Yes, here it is. Name. This is my database status. If somebody will ask you, uh, Esman will show you the database status. No. It will show you your SID instance is up and running or not. We can see it by using this command. If you want to say your database is up and running or not, you have to have used this command. My DB is up and running. And SID and database name both should be, you can put same or different also you can mention. No issues. No issues. Okay. What is mean by this SID? What is mean by the database name? We will discuss as part of the course. So I'm going to teach you from scratch. And also, I'm going to show you the each and every why I need to use this exit command. What is mean by this PS command? What is mean by this LSI command? And what is this exactly? What is this window? 
why I need to use this window? I'll give you clear cut information. Okay. Everything we are going to discuss from the scratch. And then uh, after finishing of this course, you will become a hero in Oracle DBA things. Okay. If you are interested, as I said, reach me on raxinfotech at gmail.com or the WhatsApp number or you can directly call me to this number plus 919392633440. Okay, guys. And one more time, I mean, uh, once again, I'm going to uh, say this, my um, sincere thanks to all of my YouTube members and YouTube family. Uh, it's it's now 2K family now. Hopefully we are going to grow more and more. By uh, next year, I'm going to take one more. Uh, I'm not going to share for a 3,000, 4,000 or 5,000. Yeah, mostly 5K we used to meet. Let's see, it could be like within a month we are going to achieve or we are going to achieve in... Uh, year i don't I mean i don't have any goals to achieve the milestone but my goal is to share the information that information should be useful for at least one member if they learn our youtube channel or uh, if, if somebody learn from our channel that is more than enough for me okay thank you guys thank you so much have a good wonderful day thank you